So it's easy to get stuck in your head and wonder if you're actually an attractive guy or not. But it's important to understand that we often view ourselves as being less attractive than how other people perceive us. So in this video, I'm going to go over some signs that let you know from an outside perspective that you are more handsome and attractive than you realize. Number one, unattractive girls always hit on you. Now, have you ever noticed that the girls that are the most aggressive with the signals they send and straight up hitting on you are always the ones that you don't want? It's like the male version of catcalling. You get these women that you have no interest in, yet they will damn near throw themselves at you and say all kinds of out of pocket things to try and get with you. They send the hard eyes on your Instagram story. They always go out of their way to spark up a conversation and make some super bold flirtatious comment or say something awkward. And they won't hesitate to do this in front of other women as a way to compete with them or sabotage you, or just to try and steal the show to get some attention from you, even if that means negative attention. These women can get on your nerves at times and actually be problematic in some scenarios, but it's a sign that you're a handsome and attractive man. Because at the end of the day, even though they're unattractive to you, they're still women. And if some women think you're attractive, you can bet that there's many more that do too. And the most attractive women will try to act like you don't exist a lot of the time because they view it as feeding your ego. And the last thing they wanna do is give you validation and feed the ego that they think you have. A lot of them will also believe it's just beneath them to show you any interest, so they'll play games. So all in all, if you're ever confused at why the girls you're not into are the ones that hit on you and the ones you're actually into don't, just know that you're an attractive guy to both groups of women. It's just that the unattractive ones are louder about it. Number two, married women hit on you. Now, another interesting group is married women. And I remember about five or six years ago now, a friend of mine had a sister that would always throw these little flirtatious comments here and there, or give me certain looks even though she was married. But one night specifically, she decided to crank that flame all the way up to 10. And we were at a party and I went outside to talk to some friends that were out there having a drink. And she came out and pulled me to the side and just straight up said that if she wasn't married, she'd get with me right then and there. And I was like, damn, this woman has a husband who's probably 50 feet away from us inside this house and she's saying all this stuff. Now, she was obviously very bold with what she said, but the bigger point here is that you'll sometimes get married women flirting with you verbally and with their expressions, but not necessarily intending to act on it all the way to the physical. And you don't want them to act on it anyway. Leave that drama for someone else to mess with. And another example of this was with a gym friend of mine a while back. This married woman would always come in and smile at him, make small talk, and eventually even exchange Instagrams with him. She wouldn't hesitate to react to his Instagram stories or leave little innocent comments, but she never escalated it to the physical. She just found him attractive and liked the attention. The point here is that married women will sometimes be bolder than single women because they draw this imaginary boundary in their mind of being able to push the flirting far, but not too far because at the end of the day, they have a man at home, so they don't have anything to lose by flirting at a distance and risking rejection. And some of you might be saying, well, she risks losing her man at home, but the mindset is, well, if he doesn't find out, no harm, no foul, right? It's a messed up way of thinking, but the lack of respect by some of these married women has them doing things like that. And sometimes that boundary they draw in their head is outright disrespectful as hell to their husband. And other times it's these seemingly innocent comments or actions that can be denied and played off as them just being friendly. Because they'll usually hide behind that shield of, oh, well, I was, I was just being friendly if you call them out on it or if someone else does. But the thing is that you know better and I know better. And you know when a married woman has given you that energy. And it's just another sign that you're an attractive man. Number three, your friends catch girls looking as you pass by. Another thing about women is that they are highly aware of their surroundings and social situations, but many guys simply aren't. And I've been guilty of not noticing certain girls around me in the past as well. But if you're a handsome guy, you will have friends, both male and female, catching girls giving you looks and glances across the room, and especially when you pass by. As I've discussed in other videos before, as a handsome and attractive guy, you are intimidating to women, and they will outright admit this if you ask some of them. So because of this, the most attractive women will often not give you any signals at all, and instead just glance or stare at you as you pass by or check you out from a distance. This can obviously be hard to notice if your back is to them or you're paying attention to something else, but people around you will catch it, and especially other women. It's like the classic scenario where you walk into a room with a girl and she mentions that some other girl is giving her a dirty look, and you're like, what girl? I don't even know who you're talking about. I didn't notice this girl at all, where is she? And I experienced this myself last year when I was at a crowded bar with a group one night, and a girl I know said that this other girl at the end of the bar kept staring at me, but I didn't even notice she was there until she pointed her out. But according to my friend, that girl kept looking over my way all night and I had no idea. Sometimes it's easier for us to spot signals for other people than it is to spot them for ourselves. So pay attention to the feedback your friends give you. 
If they're mentioning girls glancing or staring, then don't second guess it. You're getting that attention for a reason. Number four, guys make comments. Now this next one comes from our side of the field. <laughs> But dudes around you will make comments if you're an attractive guy. And I don't just mean gay guys, although that's absolutely a sign too if you get that kind of energy. If gay men are hitting on you, you're definitely attractive to women as well. But straight guys will even say things like, oh, what's up, pretty boy? Okay, GQ, all right, slick, I see you stud. You know, stuff like that. And here's the thing, men have eyes just like women do. And we know when a guy is good looking just like we know when a girl is good looking. It ain't rocket science, so if you're getting comments like this, you can be sure that women are thinking the same thing. Another one is if guys say things like, what's up boss? Hey boss. If you're getting that type of treatment repeatedly, it means you have a presence about you that is masculine and you don't look like some lame dude. It's indicative of you having an aura about you that is attractive to women. So don't ignore the positive comments or the trolling comments that you get from guys because there's elements of truth to them. They know what's up, just like women do. Number five, people say that you remind them of someone who is famous. Another aspect to pay attention to is the comparisons you get to other people, and especially celebrities. And before I continue, if you're enjoying the content here on the channel, make sure to sign up for my newsletter for more tips, insights, and just interesting things I come across. The link is down in the description below. If someone says you remind them of a certain actor, singer, or whoever, that's often a sign that you're an attractive man. Even if the comparison is someone that you find to be kind of a weird one or a celebrity that you don't find that attractive, it still means that people are recognizing you in comparison to a notable figure. And on average, notable figures are usually held in high regard. And it goes without saying that if you don't find the comparison to be attractive, it doesn't mean that other people don't. Generally speaking, famous and notable comparisons are a good thing and a strong indicator that you're a handsome and attractive guy. Number six, compliments on non-physical traits. Now this one can be sneaky if you don't understand the bigger picture of what's going on. You have to be able to read between the lines and that's when women compliment you on non-physical traits like your voice, your laugh, the way you dress or the way you carry yourself, things like that. And here's the thing to understand and really drill into your head. Women do not give free attention, but men give free attention to women all the time. It doesn't matter if a girl has 20 followers on Instagram and posts a thirst trap, there will be some dude who's sliding into her DMs or leaving a comment. Or if a girl is looking cute walking down the street, you can bet that someone is going to say something. But this doesn't apply in reverse for men, and attractive women do not usually give out attention just for fun. So if girls go out of their way to comment on some of your non-physical traits in a positive way, the bigger message there is that you're an attractive guy in general. Guys will straight up tell a woman she's beautiful, but women won't comment on your looks outright a lot of the time, even though they think you're a handsome guy. They don't always show their hand that easily, and you'll have to understand what's being said without it being said. It's one of those things where if you know, you know. Now, you wanna make sure that you're taking care of the basics to keep yourself looking handsome and attractive. So make sure to check out this video next, where I go over some of my favorite tips to keep you looking your absolute best and I will see you in the next one.